Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Luis. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. I'm very, very fine. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Give me a minute. Okay. I, I, I'll be right back. Give me a minute, please. Okay. 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 All right, Luis. How are you Hello today? Again. How are you? I'm today? fine. How this day, you? this day was was very easy. Was very very um. How I can say it? Very, very quiet. Okay. Good. So it was we can say relaxed. Yes. This is the moment when I am relaxed. When I am waiting the, the time of go to bed. Yeah, I am too relaxed. Good, good. Uh, do, do you work Saturdays? Sorry? Do you work on Saturdays? No, I don't. Good, good, nice. All right, so what time is it? Today it's eight o'clock. Eight and oh, oh. <laughs> eight o'clock. Yeah, it's eight o'clock. Capacitación AVSEC. Who is that? Sorry? Ana Palma, teacher. Oh, Ana Palma, how are you today? Oh, Ana Palma. How Good was... evening, Annie. Good evening. How was your day, Annie? It was, it was okay. Good. What time did you finish work? I finished work at five, at, no, four, 45. 445. That's yeah. early. That's early. Yes. And do you go to your house after you finish work or do you go somewhere else? Repeat, teacher, please. Do you go to your house after you finish work or do you go to another place? No, uh, when I finish, I go to, I go to the home. I and, home. And, and what's the distance from your house to your office? About uh, five kilometers. Five kilometer. Oh, not far. Five kilometers yeah. is good. Yes, it's, it's oh. near. Yeah, it is. All right, good. Okay, welcome back, Luis, Annie. What is today's date? No. What is today's date? The date. Today is March uh, Friday. Five. Friday. Today is Friday. What is the month? March. 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 And the date? Fifth March. Fifth. 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 March fifth. 2021. 
All right, so welcome back, Elena, Luis, Sarai, Carla, Annie, and Antonio. So do you remember the topics that we covered last night? Yes, we are talking about the importance of the English. Right. Now, how important is English in your life, Carla Guzman? Hi, um, for me, it's very important um, English because uh, with this, I don't know, conocimiento, how do you say conocimiento? Knowledge. With this knowledge, I can, I can have a better job. You can have a better job, exactly. Very good. Yes. Now, how can we improve the English knowledge? Sarai, what can we do to improve English? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Well, I believe that we can improve our English knowledge um, mediante. Through? Oh, uh, right. Or by, uh-huh. Or through, um, I don't know, uh, reading books, watching videos on YouTube in English, um, speaking with someone else who is maybe learning English or can be a, a, speak, a native speaker. Good, very good. Someone else wants to share tips on how to improve uh, the English language? Anybody? No? Remember, have, uh -huh. yes, Luis. We have several ways behind we can exercise or, or, or improve our language. Right. Uh, as example, I can mention uh, watching videos in English, listen music in English, talking with another people with that language. That's an example. Right, very good. And remember, the things that you use every day, they should be in English too, your cell phone, your computer, your Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, everything that you use every day, you know, should be in the English uh, language. All right, any questions, any comments before we start? No, okay. okay, so before we start, I want to thank you for being here on a Friday. I know that Fridays we're not supposed to have classes, but you are here, so thank you very much. So let me share this image uh -huh. right here wonderful image yeah our beautiful like downtown San Salvador yes cathedral and the palace yes have you ever visited the national palace uh, uh, in the inside no I don't never yes you, you should it's a beautiful place a lot of history, a lot of history. Okay, so look here. When we ask for a request, you know, there are different forms uh, to make requests. And the more formal that you sound when you're asking for something, the higher possibilities you will have to receive your request. So people can please what you're asking for. So today we will start, we will study two different forms to ask for requests. Can, could, would. What is can, could, would? Those are models. Do you know the name of other models in English? Cortesia? No. Uh, can, could, and would are examples of models. Can you mention others like uh, must, should, and... Could. Uh-huh. Could. May. May. May, might, should, could. So those are models. When you use models, the form of the verb is always base form. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? 
So these are examples when a person is asking for um, for a favor. Can, would, can, could, would. Yes, Glenda, those are examples of models. So once again, when you are making a request, it is recommended that you use can, could, and would uh, to ask for a favor or to make a request. Now, the form of the verb is always base form. Now, when you're making a request using would you mind, then the form of the verb needs to be with the ing form. Any questions so far? Who in the group has children? Who has children? Okay. So can you give an example of the things that you're usually asking your children to do? Um, please uh, pick up your toys. Um, please, uh, I don't know what you say, ordenar la cama. Make your bed. Make your bed. Uh, please brush your teeth. Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> So, you know, you're the mother, so you feel more confident and you said, can you please brush your teeth? Could you please make your bed? Would you please finish your homework? So you're making requests, right? Now you can make exactly the same request by using, would you mind? So would you mind making your bed? Would you mind finishing your homework? Would you mind not leaving your homework for tomorrow and things like that. So these are uh, suggestions on how a person should make a request. Any questions or comments? Questions or comments? Okay, what about the request that you give or you receive in your office from your supervisor, from your boss? Mm -hmm. Would you mind uh, turn off the machine when you finish the work? Okay, would you mind turning off the machine when you finish the work? Good, very good. What else? Can you write that example in the chat, please, uh, Luis? Uh, can you respond this email, please? Could you respond this email, please? Very good. Nice. What else, people? Could you make the document right? Uh, could you make the document right? Good. Very good. What else? What else, people? Would you mind close the market, please? I gotta okay. go. Okay. Would you mind? Antonio, one more time, please. Would you mind close the market, please? The market? What do you mean close the market? Or a store? Close oh, the store? Okay, would, would you mind closing the store? Closing close the, store. the store. So remember, the, the, uh, to, one of today's topic is when we're making requests, if, you're, if you will say, would you mind? Then the form of the verb has to be with the ing form. If you uh, okay. can, could, and would, then the form of the verb is, is base form. See the difference? Yes. Okay, so imagine I'm teaching the class and my son is watching television very loud. I will say, Matthew, could you please turn down the television? Or I would tell him, would you mind turning down the television? So if you're saying, would you mind? then the form of the verb has to be with the ing form. Any questions or comments? No, teacher. No? Okay, so let me see this here. So would you mind turning off the machine when you finish the work, please? Uh -huh. Could you respond that email? Can you make the report? So we're missing the question mark at the end. All right, any questions? So if you see Louis' example, at the end he writes, 
please. What is please? Please is a magic word. When do you use magic words? When I when I want to get the better result. Okay, when you want to get better results, very good. So you say please, right? What if you're passing between two people that are speaking? What do you say? Uh huh. Excuse me, please. Exactly. Excuse me. Yes. What if you push somebody by accident? What do you say? Sorry. sorry. Exactly. Say sorry. What if someone tells you thank you? What are you supposed to say? You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. My pleasure. Uh huh. So you say thanks or you say thank you. The response is, you're welcome. Or you can say like someone says, my pleasure. My pleasure. How do you say cuando sea? Anytime. Anytime is like saying a cualquier hora, a la orden. You, so, uh, magic words can make a difference. Can make a difference. Have you ever said, have you ever heard someone saying, ni gracias, dijo? Has that ever happened to you? You do a okay. favor, uh, like you, uh, you do someone a favor and you expect at least a thank you, but they don't even say thank you, you know? So, magic mm -hmm. words can definitely change uh, the scenario. Any questions or comments about this introduction? No, thank you. Okay. No, teacher. All right, so let me show you a document that I have here. Okay, can you see my screen? 1.9 knowledge check. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. So this exercise is in the platform. This exercise is in the platform. Could you lend me $20? What would be the best answer for that one? Mm -hmm. Are you Are kidding? You kidding? I don't have, I don't have cash. any cash. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. Right. Now, if you want to use an excuse, hey, could you lend me $20? Says, I'm really sorry. I'm very busy. But that would be an excuse, right? What is the difference between lend and borrow? What's the difference? Volunteer? Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Remember, you say, how do you say, me puede prestar 20 dólares? Could you lend me 20 dollars? Could you lend me 20 dollars? Excellent. What if I say, can I borrow 20 dollars? Is that correct? No. I'm not sure. Okay. Glenda says, lend when you ask, borrow when I take, kind of. Lend is when you mention the person giving. Borrow Receive it. 
Okay. Solen is when you mention the person giving, when you mention the person doing you the favor. Borrow is when you mention the person that needs the favor. So listen carefully. Can you lend me $20? You is the person giving the money. Who needs the money? I do. So if I'm going to mention myself, I will say, can I borrow $20? Is this explanation clear? Class, is this explanation clear? No. Yes. Um, For me, no. I need to, to repeat the explanation, please. Sure, no problem. Yes. So remember, Mira, y tu hermano me puede prestar un lapicero. Who's going to give the pen? The sister. The sister. Yeah. So I will say, can your sister lend me? Okay, hold on. Pen. Can your sister lend me a pen? Second. Can your sister lend me a pen? Your sister is going to give me a pen. Or I can say, can I borrow a pen? Who needs the pen? Now I have a key. Uh, now I have a key. Yeah. So once again, the person giving you, if you mention the person giving you, you're supposed to say land. If you mention the person receiving the object or receiving the favor, you have to say borrow. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. What if I say, ¿Dónde están los 20 dólares que te presté? Where are the twenty dollars I borrow you. I lent you. Que te preste, que yo te di. I lent you. Where are the twenty dollars that I lent you? Or, donde están los veinte dólares que pediste prestados? Where are the twenty dollars that you borrowed? So once again, if you mention the person giving you the object or doing you the favor, you say lend. If you mention the person receiving the favor or receiving the article, you're supposed to say borrow. And this is very important because if you mention borrow or you say lend, the message is completely different from each other. So you gotta be careful with that. But I will, we will talk about this after. What about number two? Can you get me a sandwich? Uh, I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Okay, that would be a, a, a response if you don't want to do it. Yeah, I'm really uh -huh. sorry, but I'm busy. Sure. What would be another answer, another possible answer? Sure, no problem. I'd sure. be glad. No problem. Yeah, okay. No problem. I will be glad to. Sure, no problem. I'll be glad to. Very good. What about number three? Can you help me move to my new house? I'm really sorry, but I'm, I'm busy. busy. Okay, I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Especially when you go from one house to another, you're talking about maybe four, five, six hours. Maybe more. Maybe more. All right, what else? So can you help me move to my new house? I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sure, no problem, I'll be glad to. Mm -hmm. Sure, no problem. I'll be glad to. Okay. So the two answers are, are good. So sure, no problem. I'll be glad to. Let's check this one. Would you mind not sitting here? Sorry, I didn't realize the simple yeah. thing. Good. 
Yeah, so sorry. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is realize? How do you say realize in Spanish? Darse cuenta. Okay. Yeah. I didn't realize this seat was taken. So realize doesn't mean realizar. It means darse cuenta. I realize. So I was driving my car when I realized I had left my cell phone at home. Yeah. Okay, what about number five? Could you move your car from my space? No, this is a friendly neighbor asking you for something. I'm sorry, I do it right away. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. When you say I'm sorry, what are you doing? Apologize. Exactly, you're apologizing. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Good. What about number six? Would you mind not talking so uh, loudly? Loudly. We are sorry. We we will we will talk more quiet, quietly. Good. All right. So once again, you know the six questions that we just practiced, they can happen in a real life conversation, and you need to know how to answer these questions. So we send it. And oh, we missed one. The second one. The second one. Let's check the second one. Exactly. Can you get me a sandwich? I'm really sorry. I told you. <laughs> okay. The number five. Uh -huh. It's number five. Okay. Let's check. Send. Yeah, it doesn't change it anymore. So these, these are some of the, of the exercises you guys will be doing when you're completing your, uh, your platform. Observation. When you're typing your answers, be careful with punctuation and be careful with spaces. The platform has uh, a few issues that are related with, uh, with punctuation sometimes. So sometimes even if it's a question and you put the question mark, maybe the person entering all the information in the, in the, in the platform forgot. So the answer stay without the question mark. Or sometimes you need to have uh, the right space between two words. So keep that in mind. Does anybody have any questions or comments about the platform? No? Teacher, uh, on the platform, there are a section about the uh, como cuadros o rectangulares. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, tenemos que nosotros comentar o porque en la plataforma no, no toma en cuenta eso. We, we need to... That is, that is optional. That is optional. Make comments. Okay. Yes. Any other questions, class? No. No? Okay, so let's change the topic. That was like the grammatical part of the class. Now we go with the speaking practice. Um, let me write this here. Our next topic is age. What is age for you? What is Era. age? Age. My age is 49 Era. years old. Uh huh. So are you worried? Are you worried about your age? No. 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 Yeah. yeah. You know, I just the only the only reason why I worries because I want to make sure that my children are ready to face life without me. So that's my only concern. Okay, anyways, I'm going to show you. Uh -huh. Where is this? Where is this? I had it somewhere here. Okay, found it. Right here. So let me 
50. You're 50 years old, Luis? Yes. Yes, I am. Were you born in 1970 or 1971? 1997. Uh, 19. What year were you born? I born. I was one, born. I was born. I was born in 1970. Okay. L listen to this observation. And this is for everybody. Okay, how much money is in the bank? Look at the chat. One hundred. Hundred or thousand? One thousand nine hundred seventy. One thousand. Okay, so one thousand nine hundred seventy. When you're speaking about amounts or quantities, that's exactly how you read it. One thousand nine hundred and seventy. How do you say el año 1970? 1970. 1970. So when we talk about years, you divide the year in two parts. So you said, I was born in 1971. My mother was born in 1948. Independence in El Salvador was in 1821. So you separate the years in two parts. Is that clear? Totally. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes, Nancy? Uh, if I can say I was born in 20, zero, zero, or 2000? 2000. 2000. 2000. That's a 2000. good question okay. because after the year 2000, you say it the same way we do it in Spanish. 2001, 2001. 2007, 2007. So we divide the year in two parts until the year 1999. 1999. Any questions about the age, about how to read years? No? No question. Okay, let me open this document. Uh, can you see the questions here? Yes. Okay. What what is the topic? Discussion on age. Discussion on age. Can somebody please take a screenshot and send it to the chat, please? Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. So I'm going to assign you to work in pairs and discuss this topic about age. Breakout rooms. Once again, thank you for being present today. Out of room. Here we go. Talk about age. Give me a second. I'm going for some water.
why do you like your age? Could you share with me your, your reasons um, about your age, uh, the, the, the parts of, of your age that like you? Mm. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yes. It's a shame that I entered a bit late in the class. No, yeah. don't worry. Or it's okay. Yeah. But these questions are normal. Don't worry. Yeah, it's very normal. Yes, I recommend uh, my, my partner. I I was not sick. Mm -hmm. I have energy. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Uh -huh. I I feel good. Uh, ah, I know that's nice. I'm adult and uh, uh, I'm a Mrs. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. In the when I we was child, I think the best age. <laughs> good. And what do you think, Sarah? Well, I think the same than Elena because when you were worried for anything, I think that we just thought in and play or something like that and you don't have preoccupations or with your friends yes i understand yes and the third question what is the worst age to be and why mm, maybe how do you say I now read the number two. The number two said, Tú leíste la número uno. Ahora yo voy a dos. La número dos dice, What is the best age to be and why? ¿Entiendes en el, en el español qué quiere decir? ¿Me lo compartes? ¿Cuál es la mejor edad para... ¿Cuál es la mejor edad? ¿Cuál es la mejor qué? edad? Sí. ¿Y por qué? Teacher? Ah, the best, the best age is in 20, 25. Why 25? Because um, I, I'm not old in, in I, so I, oh, I, I young too. I'm, too young. I too young, yes. And full of energy. Yes, I have full energy. I, 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 I go out with my friends. I'm not married. Disappear so, for three days. Sorry, I can I didn't catch that. Disappear for three days. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, that's good. Yes. Yeah, okay. I, re yeah. I remember when I was 25. Yes. Yeah. I, I say I, I'm 25 years old and I, I, I feel stronger. I feel stronger. But now... Uh, <laughs> you, you are 25 years old right now? No, no, I'm not. I, How old I, are you? I'm 30. 30. 30. 34. 30. Yes. Oh, 34. 34. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 25 is a good age. Yes. yes. For me, it's the, good, the, the best age. Right. I am agreed. Yeah. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Okay. I agree. Very uh, good. <laughs> Very good. All right. Nice. I agree. The old people becomes in a uh, love yeah it's true the next question okay. do you worry about getting older uh no <laughs> no me neither <laughs> no 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 mm -mm. 
because we are sembrando. Planting. Uh -huh. uh, if you uh, if you plant good, you will cosechar bien. Yeah. In English, in English, you say, let me write it in the chat. Let me see. You say, you reap what you saw. You reap what you saw. You reap what you saw. You what Thank you. you saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Te cosecha lo que siembra. Mm. You reap what Let you saw. Let me sow. write this. <laughs> you sure. reap what you saw. Yeah. Yeah. You know, good or bad. Good or bad. Uh huh. Yeah, that's true. So you get the results that you planted. We have to pay <laughs> the quick that we do. The things that we did. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah and All that the... is mandatory. You know, good or yeah. bad. Yeah. Good or mm -hmm. bad? Yes. <laughs> okay, let me visit another room. Okay, <laughs> right. uh, the sickness, like uh, Parkinson, um, uh, the, the other, when you lose the memory in, in the older age, is a, it's not a quality life. But is you have no sickness and you have good attitude and you use the free time in useful things, is the older is a, a good age. I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Alzheimer can be a, a, a bad experience. What can you do to fight Alzheimer now that we are okay? What activities can you do to fight Alzheimer? For example, games to remember things. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah. Do the the favorite music for the person. Uh huh. Yeah. Learn languages. You know, like after you guys finish learning English, the advice is that you continue learning another language. You know, because like uh, like Antonio says, you need to keep your mind active when you're challenging your, your, your mind. So when you're in the process of learning another language, you activate uh, all your brain and you start thinking. So learning another language is uh, really effective against uh, Alzheimer. Good. Yeah. yeah, so don't stop. Look, como si? Look is like, uh... Uh, you see, uh, it's como que si ves tu, tu edad. What, si what, me, what no, number si are you doing? The number, the number five. five. Do yeah, do you look your age? Do you look your age? Si usted aparenta la edad que tiene. Um, okay, thank you. Yeah, do you look your age? Uh, so some people, they look younger some people they look older right and some people okay. they are at the right level okay i am 21 okay you look 21 so the person looks his or her age now if the person is 21 and looks like 30 years old then the person doesn't look the age okay thank you teacher okay thanks teacher all right um
hacer el lesson plan. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. All right. Which number were you guys discussing when I brought you back? I think the number five is as uh, it's about the you worry about your older you come back <laughs> you're getting older <laughs> yeah you know some people they panic when it comes about age literally like oh my goodness so okay uh, so let's discuss I, yeah go ahead i don't for me it's, it's too natural yeah to me, it's as born as died as sick it's the life only Exactly, exactly. You know, some people, sometimes you ask them, uh, how old are you? And they change the subject. <laughs> they, talk, they start talking about something else. <laughs> but this idea that I have in this moment, it, it's not the idea I has when I'm younger. Right, right. Yeah, so you know, like you said, getting older is something natural. It's it's life, you know. The color of your hair changes, your skin starts to change. I mean, there are physical changes, and and I think that anybody with white hair or gray hair should be proud because many people die every day for different reasons. Young people, children, teenagers, young adults and they never get the chance to get gray hair or white hair. So, you know, so I- Very, very interesting. Yeah, I am totally, I am totally agree. Because if they don't have the opportunity to get older, they never learn the big lesson of the life. Yeah, yeah. You know, I wish I were younger with the way that I think now, you know, like I wish I were 25 years old and with the knowledge that I have now, but that's part of life. You know, you make decisions that sometimes are not the right decisions, but that's that's how we learn. These are the mind changes. Yeah, the mind changes. Well. well, that's what we expect that, you know, the older we get, the more mature we think. You know, that's the idea. Yeah. Okay. All right, any questions or comments before we go to our last activity? No? All right, no so, let me ask you, uh, when we talk about future uh, events, what are the two options that we have to speak? The two auxiliaries that we use. Will and will, going, will. To. going to. Will and going to. So remember, I think it was this class where I mentioned, will is when you're talking about possibilities, going to is when you're talking about plans, grammatically speaking. But in a real life situation, uh, pregúnteme qué voy a hacer mañana in English. Somebody. What are you, what going, are you going to do tomorrow? To do tomorrow? Okay, what are you going to do tomorrow? Maybe I will visit my uncle. Maybe I'm going to visit my uncle. The message is exactly the same. Grammatically speaking, if it's a possibility, I should have said, maybe i will visit my uncle if it's a plan i should have said i'm going to visit my uncle that is grammatically speaking but in a real conversation it really doesn't matter if you use will or going to what is the negative of will want want want, want. want. okay so right now i'm going to assign you to work in pairs and you guys will talk about the plans that you have for this weekend. Some of you guys, like myself, we work Saturday mornings. Maybe you work all day. Maybe you work Sundays, everybody's different. But that's the reason why I am assigning you to work in pairs, recreate. Mm -hmm. okay. Recreate right now. And here we go. Talk about the plans you have for the weekend.
Hello, Carla. Can you play the piano? No, but I like to, I like the sound. It is very, very nice. Yeah. Who plays so, the piano? I'm learning to play the piano. Sarah oh. is learning. Good, good. That's a nice talent, you know, like when you just go to a place and somebody's playing the piano, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah it's really nice. I admire people that play instruments or people yeah. that sing, you know, people with a nice voice. I admire that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. It's really nice. I will wash some clothes too. And then okay. Sunday, Sunday morning, I will go to the church too, like you, but I will go alone. Uh, okay. I will go to Santo Tomas Church because I would like to to know or to meet that place because uh, currently I am not assisting to any church, but I want to. Okay. That's why I will go. I I am going. Mm -hmm. I will go to, to the church. Okay. Catholic or Christian? It's a great decision. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, and you are Catholic or Christian? Excuse me? Catholic or Christian? You are Catholic or Christian? Ah, Catholic. Catholic. Yes. And I am a Christian. Christian, but I don't know what Christians means for you or Catholics means for you because I believe in God and I think that uh, every religion and there are people that are a very good persons and really understand what Christians means or follow or be a following from Jesus Christ. Right. Right. Yeah. And what about you? Yeah. I don't go to church for now, you know, but I want to go back. Okay. 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 I am Catholic. Catholic. And Catholic. 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 Yeah. I'm Catholic and always on Sunday. I'm going to the church with my mom, and I only, I think. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? We are Thank fine. You. Thank you. But uh, um, I'm going to visit my dear, yeah. but I'm telling to my classmate that I confuse. Uh, the word hormiga con tía. I, I don't know the pronunciation of both. Uh, they sound exactly the same, aunt. Ah, yeah. The, the difference, the difference is uh, when you write it because hormiga has letter U, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Or uh, the different uh, writing. I'm okay. Uh, I right. don't have any problem writing, but in the pronunciation, I don't know. It's the uh, same. Many, uh, it's how many the sounds? Same. Thank you, teacher. Sure, no problem. You're so kind. Thank All you. All right, no problem. Cool. 
Hello, Anna. Hello. I can hear you. Okay. Hello, hello. Yes, right now I can hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I write in on the chat. Okay. Uh, what do you do in the Monday? We speak the, the weekend and we finish. <laughs> teacher <laughs> yeah it's it's almost nine o'clock yes <laughs> true well and, and, uh, anna anna sorry sorry teacher why are you going to do the weekend uh i work saturday mornings i teach i teach from seven to twelve um uh, my wife she's selling food she's selling lunch so tomorrow afternoon, I plan to go to La Tiendona uh, or either uh, Mercado Central, which is where you get the best prices. Yes. And I expect to be back in my house about 4.30 or 5 p.m. the latest, and then disconnect from everything. <laughs> yeah. You spend time with your family. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we have a new project in the company right now. I'm supervising the project. So I have to be there at 6.30 a.m. So I'm waking up at 5.30 approximately. So I expect to come to my house tomorrow afternoon and just rest. <laughs> yes, I think it's only you want. <laughs> right, that's all I want, that's all I want. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No, thank you. No? Once again, okay. thank you for making the space. Thank you, for, thank you for making the time to be here an hour. And we continue Monday, same place, same time. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend too. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night for everyone. Same Take to you. Thank Have you. a nice Bye. weekend. Nice weekend too. Bye. See you on Monday. Okay. Bye. Bye.